Do you want to be more effective at helping your family and your friends and your neighbors and your coworkers come to Christ? You know, most Christians really want to be effective at evangelism, but they don't know how. They don't feel confident. Well, this week is going to change your life because I'm going to share with you some basic principles that will help you be effective at reaching your family, your friends, your neighbors with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Hi, I'm Dave Early. This is Daily Discipleship. You can follow us on Facebook if you haven't already, or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. We're talking about effective evangelism this week. You know most Christians, 95% of the Christians in, in North America have never led anyone to Christ? That, that, that needs to flip. We need to change that, and we can. You, God can use you to help bring people to Christ. Well, Today I want to share with you a simple principle that changed my life when it came to evangelism. It's that effective evangelism is a process leading to an event. A lot of us get it in our mind that evangelism is that moment that the person you're talking to is ready to give their life to Christ, to confess Jesus as Savior, to confess Jesus as Lord, to confess their sin, to put their faith in God, pray that prayer, we think of that as evangelism, and it is. That's the event. But you've got to understand there's a process leading up to that event. And if you respect the process, you're going to be a lot more effective at evangelism. If you're patient with the process, you're going to be a lot more effective with evangelism. Think about it. Jesus said salvation is a new birth. Now, a birth has an event. There's a date, a time, a place, a birthday a birth certificate, but there's a process, nine months leading up to that event. It's a pregnancy for the mom, it's gestation for the baby, it's a nine-month process leading to the event of new birth. Paul referred to evangelism as reaping a harvest. Now, you don't just uh, go out into a field and reap a harvest. You've got to plow the soil, plant the soil, fertilize the soil, water the soil, weed the soil. There's a process leading up to that event. That's what evangelism is. That's what salvation is. And that's what you and I need to understand if we're going to be receptive. Now, several years ago, a missionary uh, named Ingalls had several mission fields, and he was trying to, to analyze what's the process people take no matter what mission field they're in, what is the process they take to come to Christ? And he created a scale of receptivity. And this scale is pretty good. He says, first of all, there's an awareness of a supreme being. There's somebody out there. There's a God. There's somebody created this. Somebody's got, got, got his hands on what's going on here. Then there's a, an awareness of, well, there's Jesus. There's this person, Jesus Christ. People worship. People call him God. Then there's the gospel. There's the fact that we've sinned against God, the fact that Jesus died on the cross for our sins, the fact that Jesus rose again. There's the awareness of the elements of the gospel. And then as a person comes closer to Christ, there's a grasp of the implications of the gospel. This can impact eternity, heaven, hell. It can impact my daily life, whether I'm, I'm uh, spiritually alive or spiritually dead, whether I'm fulfilled or whether I'm missing something. I've got a hole in my life. And then they take the step of they're positive about the gospel. This gospel is a good thing. This stuff about Jesus is a good thing. These, this Christianity is a good thing. And there's a personal recognition of sin. The Holy Spirit's convicted them. They're, they're, they feel guilty of their sin. They, they, they're recognizing the consequences of that sin. There's a personal recognition of sin, and then they make a decision to act. Okay, I need to do something. I need to go to church. I need to read my Bible. I need to get baptized. People, I need to go talk to a pastor. I need to talk to a Christian. I need to do something. And then the event is when they express repentance, turning from their sin, and faith in God, turning to God for salvation. Now, notice. It can be a long way to go from here to there. People in, in, in false religions, it takes them 
years sometimes to go through this process. But if you're patient with the process, you will see more people come to Christ and the people that come to Christ will stick and stay and be committed because you respected the process. Sometimes we're pressuring people to repent and believe when they are just beginning to understand the implications of the gospel or the elements of the gospel. It takes some time, but God can take people through this process uh, sometimes very quickly, but sometimes it takes years, but you've got to be patient with the process. You can be effective at evangelism if you understand evangelism is a process leading to an event. I'm Dave Early. Thanks for joining us. You can follow us on Facebook. Please do or you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be talking more about this tomorrow. This is Daily Discipleship. We want you to be a disciple, and we want you to make disciples.